Hey guys, it's myself here. Welcome back to the channel and have a look at this right here. How cool is this? iOS 4 running on an iPhone 12. I thought this was very interesting to share with you guys. It is a really neat project and it's running on my iPhone 12 with a virtual home button as you can see right there. And of course, links will be in the description. There's no jailbreaking required for this. You don't even need a computer. So I'm going to show you exactly how to get this onto your iOS device. It isn't perfect. There's still some work to be done here. Like for example, messages is coming soon, as you can see right there, but there's a lot of stuff that's working here. The music application is working, although cover flow isn't working just yet. It could be coming in future updates for this project. So if we go sideways here, it doesn't really work, but it does work to listen to music. Everything else within the music application does work. We have the iTunes store here. We also have the app store, as you can see right here. This is so cool. I thought you guys might find this very interesting and it's running pretty decent here for being the first version of this project. I guess you can call it just a lot of stuff is working and it just takes you back to the days of iOS 4 when iOS just had more personality in my opinion with the applications mimicking actual live uh, objects. For example, the notes just mimicked a notebook right there and things like that. This virtual home button works really cool. You can also use the phone application right here. You also have email, you have Safari right there and things work just the way they did back in the day with iOS 4. Now the folders here are not working. As I mentioned, messages is still to come here, but let me show you how easy it is to test this out onto your iOS device right now. Now it works pretty much on every device. I've tested over four devices and it seems to be running just fine. Face ID devices just get the virtual home button. Those of you that have home button devices will just use their regular home button. So if you jump into the actual application here, test flight is where you're going to go ahead and download this software and run it onto your iOS device. Now keep in mind, these betas do fill up quickly. So I'll link in the description down below the developer of this project. So if you're watching this video and the link in the description does not work, there will be most likely an additional beta for you to download so you can have your chance to test this on your device. Now, the first thing you need to do is head on to this link right here, open it within Safari of your iPhone here and just download test flight. It will redirect you to the app store to download the application test flight. Now I already have it installed obviously, so you, I don't need to install it. And then the second link will actually take you to start testing old OS and then just go through the accept an installation process here very simple to install just click through the installation process and you'll be set and ready to go and then you'll have this icon here on the home screen of your iPhone it says old OS and once you launch it there you go iOS 4 running on the iPhone 12 it's just so interesting to see this running so nicely on these uh, newer devices and as I mentioned yes there is a uh, somewhat of a hiccups when you launch for example the camera application and you close it back up there's sort of like a glitch there but the project will evolve over time and you can have access to all your photos and things like that it's just so cool to see this happening again links will be in the description down below for the developer here as you can see right there on Twitter uh, this beta was full so he launched a third beta and I'm sure once this fills up there will be another beta as I mentioned the links will be down below if the link that I provide to this version here doesn't work just head on over to the developers uh, Twitter and just go ahead and download the next beta which will most likely be available again just run it to test flight and it's super cool to see this running on this iPhone if we head on over to settings here go to wallpaper you can also adjust the wallpaper of your device I mean the elements work relatively well for being uh, an old software here running on these newer devices you can scroll through things here as you can see settings is just so simple back in the day and just brings me back to the old days uh, when iOS was just so simple and just sort of starting out let me know what you think about this project I think it's really dope to see this running and hopefully we'll see other versions of iOS show up in this same format it will be uh, really cool to see that let me know what you think about this one thank you for watching I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one peace